you tired of neck, jaw, shoulder tension? Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and that is exactly what we are going over in today's class and how this could be connected to your pelvic floor. Go grab your mats and let's do this. If you happen to have some blocks or a pillow, go ahead and grab those. If not, no worries, I've got you covered. We're gonna start in a seated position. You can sit in a chair, you can sit down on the ground. I'm gonna sit up, propped on a block. I just wanna start by taking a couple gentle breaths. Check in, where do you notice that tension? Where does the breath go? Can you soften? Can you ease into it just a little bit? Think of lengthening up through the crown of your head. Nice breath in. Exhale, slowly let it go. And just gently turn your head to look to the left. And see where it goes. Where do you feel it pulling? Bring your head over towards the right-hand side. Same thing. Does it go different from one side to the next? Bring it back through towards center. You're going to drop your right ear to your right shoulder and just start to gently nod your head yes. And you'll notice a gentle pull on that left side of your neck. Reach through those left fingertips down towards the ground. And just gently nodding. Yes, still staying lifted up through that tailbone, lifted through the waist. Left fingertips are reaching and just gently nodding. Yes. Stay with your breath. And nothing we do in today's class, you're not forcing or trying to pull as hard as you can. It's nice and gentle. Nice. One more breath here. And then pick that head, come back up. And drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Same thing. And just gently start to nod your head yes. Maybe you reach those right fingertips down towards the ground. How does this side feel compared to your other side? Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. I'm going to take one more breath in here. And pull yourself. Come back up. You're going to take your right hand down towards the ground. The left arm reaches up towards the sky. Lengthen through those fingertips. And then bend your elbow. Come into a half cactus. Turn your gaze up. Press into the right hand. Turn your gaze down towards the ground. to Reach through those fingertips. One more time, bend that left elbow, peel your chest open, gaze up, and then reach that arm up overhead. Pull yourself, come back up, that left hand comes down, right arm reaches overhead, stretch through those fingertips, nice breath in. Open up, half cactus. Reach that arm back overhead. Half cactus. Pull yourself, come all the way back up. Now you're going to grab hold of just to the inside of your ear, little pinch. Um, we'll start on the right hand side and you're just going to gently pull that ear out to the side, keeping that tension there, turn your head to look to the left and then bring it back to center. Turn your head to the left and back to center. So there's lots of different connections to our pelvic floor our fascia, if you kind of imagine it like a bodysuit stepping into it, helps us glide and slide with all of our tissues. And it starts from the bottom of our foot, travels all the way up pelvic floor, diaphragm, base of our neck, up into our jaw, and the back of our head. So working on the feet, you can affect your pelvic floor. Working on your jaw and your neck, you can affect your pelvic floor as well. Good, let's do one more time, turning to the side. And back to center. And then you're just gonna gently, like little pinches kind of all along your ear, maybe rubbing the fingers together just a little bit, loosening that up. Like who thought your ear might be a little tender? <laughs> now you take one more breath here. And then we'll bring that hand down. And just notice left side, right side. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So just grab those two fingers just to the inside part of that ear and just a little pull. We're going to turn to look to the right and then back to center. Turn to look right and back to center. Keeping that tension on as you're turning your head right and left.
Again for three, two, last one. And the same thing, just gentle massage along. Noticing where it's tender, where it's not. Nice. And then both hands come back down. Let's take that blocker pillow out. Come on to those hands and knees, coming into tabletop position. You're going to sink your chest, lift your head, and then tuck the tailbone, pull your chin towards your chest. Sink the chest, lift your head. Round everything out, pull your chin toward your chest, tuck that tailbone. Sink your chest and round everything out. Nice, and then from there, just make your way, come up to a standing position. Pressing down into those feet, spread those toes, take a big breath in, sweep your arms, lift up, and then bring your hands behind your back. You're gonna interlace your fingers, open up through the front of your chest. You can also make a fist behind your back, broadening through those collarbones, open through the chest, nice breath in. Maybe you gaze up at the ceiling. Exhale, slowly let it go. Nice breath in. And let it go. You're gonna turn your head to look to the left. And then look out of the corner of your left eye, or both eyes to the left. Take a breath. Back to center. Okay, and we'll head over to the right hand side. Look out of the right corner of your eye. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Take another nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Back to center. Sweep those arms, lift all the way back up overhead. Hands come down towards heart center. We'll take your right leg, scoot your right leg back. Press down into both those feet, sweep those arms, lift up. We're gonna open, come into a cactus arm, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then really round everything out. Pull your chin towards your chest. Open it up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then round it out. Spread your toes. Inhale, open cactus. Bring it back in. Nice, we've got one more time. Open it up, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Round everything out, pull your chin towards your chest. Come all the way back up. Step that right foot forward, left foot goes back. Inhale, lift those arms come up. Open up, cactus arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hips are nice and even. Round it out, pull your chin towards your chest. Open up. Flow back and forth, feeling nice and strong in those feet and just creating movement. We open up our mid back, that helps with our neck, shoulders, jaw. Staying with our breath connects us with the pelvic floor. Nice, one more time. Now we'll straighten out through both legs, turn both feet to face the side. And we're gonna float and come forward. You're gonna interlace your hands. As we float forward, take those hands and place them just behind the base of your skull. You cradle around your neck. It's like this nice, gentle distraction. You can have a good bend in your knees. And we're just gonna gently sway from side to side. The head gets heavy. Soften your jaw. Use your breath, lift that tailbone. One more breath in here. And press into those feet, bring your hands back to your hips, pull yourself, come up. We're gonna spin to face the left. Both feet facing in front, take those arms, sweep them straight out in front. The left arm is gonna lift up and back, twist back behind you, turn to take a peek, and then bring it back to face the front. Two more times, peel your chest, lift it open, spin back behind, turn and take a peek. Lift it back in front. Awesome, last time, lift up and back, twist back behind. 
and bring that back in front. We're going to spin everything back to face the front of your mat. Same thing. Right hip back, left hip forward. Sweep those arms straight out in front of your right arm. Lift up and back behind you. Twist it open. And then bring it back in front. Peel that chest. Lift it open. Back in front. Last time, inhale. Lift up and open. And then bring it back in front. Both hands are going to come down to the ground. Step it back. You can be plank on your knees, plank on those toes, lower everything all the way down. We're going to come up onto our forearms, pull yourself forward, open through the front of your chest, gently gaze up at the sky, squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice, gentle back bend. Awesome. One more time. Nice breath in. And exhale, let it go. We're going to come down onto our backs. If you've got that block, you can go ahead and grab that. And we're just going to place it behind the base of our skull. And if you don't have the block, you can use your thumbs and you'll move it down just so you feel the little ridge, that bump, and place your thumbs there. You can do little circles up and down with the yoga block. You're just going to gently turn your head left and right. Knees can be bent, knees can be straight. You check in with your neck and your shoulders. Check in with your jaw, can you soften that? Nice, take one more breath here. And slowly bring that to a still. Start to make your way onto your side. Come all the way up, finding a comfortable seated position. I'm just going to check in with what we started with. So turn your head to the left. How does that feel different? Turn your head to the right. What do you notice? Bring it back through towards center. Let's take a nice big cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Thanking your body for your practice. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste. Namaste.